so the libertarian viewpoint, which I probably espouse, like that's, I'm very much like uh, freedom of the individual is very valuable and like leave others the fuck alone unless they're trying to hurt you. The thing is you also have to, I believe, put in the, the work of empathy of understanding what others, how, what leaving people the fuck alone means to others. But isn't that an interesting thing? If I believe in freedom of the inv individual and I take that, like all of these, like you said, you take them past just their first qu why question. You ask why, 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 or how, 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 how mm -hmm. many times, should that not extend to respect for you, respect for your position, respect for your individual yeah. lived experience, yeah. which could be grossly different than mine. Yeah, this is the problem with saying, I'm an individual, I'm not gonna bother you, you don't bother me. That's just like, that's not actionable because to, to be to make it actionable, you have to think the why, 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 why. You have to do the steps beyond. Right. You think, what does that actually mean? That means understanding how even my very existence uh, like hurts others hmm. because you have to understand that like I'm not you're not just sitting alone in a room you're uh, you're using like public transit you're using the police force you're using firefighters you're using the like you're using a lot of resources that are publicly shared and some of those resources are are unfairly distributed mm. uh, like we've agreed that we're going to pay taxes and those taxes are gonna to go towards building some kind of infrastructure. So that's already towards social. That's so you're not a real you're you're not a real sort of I talked to Michael Malice, like anarchist, right? Saying like basically full, just leave me the fuck alone and I'm going to collaborate with whoever the hell I want. We're not the, that's not the American society as it stands currently. We've agreed that there's going to be certain social institutions mm -hmm. that we pay into. Yes. And uh, some of the sort of discussions about race and all those kinds of things uh, is about those institutions being uh, institutionally unfair, whether mm -hmm. it's race or gender, all those kinds of things. Listen, I, you know, I have a bunch of criticisms of the way that conversation carries itself out, but the thing is, what's valuable is to actually listen and empathize. And that's not often, often talked about with the leave me the fuck alone mindset because you're, um, it, doesn't have, it doesn't have that little component, which I think could be fundamental to the function of a society, which is like social. Like it's the, what is it? The Obama, you didn't build it or you didn't build it alone or whatever, what, however that goes. But basically we wouldn't, be, we wouldn't be able to accomplish anything as individuals without the help of others. Mm. And to be able to then start to think, okay, so what is, what, is, what is my duty? What is my responsibility to other human beings to be respectful, to be loving, to, to help them as part of this functioning society? That starts, that's actually a lot of work to start to think about that. For sure. Because then I have to like think, okay, Ryan, What's his life like? Like as a business owner during COVID, what's that like? And then he has uh, there's employees that run the gym. What's that like? What's that stress like? Right. Or about the fighting and the injury and so on. What's that like? That empathy takes a lot of like compute cycles. It, and fair, uh, it's also a lot of energy, right? But I have to go through that computation if I want to be an individual that's like doesn't hurt you. If if I may, I guess like to, to come back to Muhammad Ali, one of the things he said is service to others is the rent is the rent that you pay for your you know is the is the price you pay for your rent here on earth. Yeah. And now I one of the things that I think that I see as a result of the internet all the time is people talking about global giant problems, social problems that are society wide that are massive, like truly massive, and frankly beyond the beyond the power of any of us to solve. Yeah, and certainly on an individual level. So I have, you know, I've discussed things with friends. Like I, my father's an environmental attorney, like uh, you know, has been for a long time and has been an engineer for a long time. And uh, you know, so I, I'm not, not barely know anything, but I'm reading a little bit of, of various things. But uh, climate change. Oh my God, I'm so concerned about climate change. Like, what am I supposed to do about climate change? I'll tell you what I can do is I can not litter. I can try to conserve energy where I can. I can do whatever I want. What can I personally do? about some giant social problem that is that I didn't start 
and I this out of my control. I'm like, well, I can be decent to the people around me. Like you mentioned, I can demonstrate empathy and I can demonstrate consideration for the people in my circle and to the extent that I can, the people outside of my circle, but yelling at the trees over things that over problems that are borderline cosmic um, doesn't seem very productive. It just makes me feel like I'm cool and important because I'm talking about something. Well, hundreds of years from now, the water will rise. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. I can't, I, it's completely over my head. I'm, I know nothing, yeah. but focusing on the problems that we can actually solve, it comes back to the same thing. I want to win a fight. I would love to win a fight. Uh, I can't control that. What I can do is I can control each individual step that I take around the ring and trying to make the next correct move. I can't look. No, it 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 gets people's, uh, you know, they, they get all excited. You know, I'm trying to keep my language in check, but they get all excited thinking about, uh, you know, problems that are you know, like Superman couldn't solve these problems. Like you could be that powerful and you can't make all of the bad things go away, but you can absolutely change yourself. And I think a lot of the lessons that, you know, like the good lessons from religion that happened, the good lessons from the great men and women throughout history that we that we are inspired by, that talk about change starting with within, and you know, again, treating the people around you decently, and treating the people around you decently doesn't even necessarily mean the golden rule: do unto others as you would like them to do to you. I go, well, maybe what I would like and what this person would like aren't the same thing. Well, how am I going to get to the bottom of that? Because I could be attempting to be decent to this person, and by my standard, I am being decent, but maybe I'm uh, maybe I'm missing the mark by theirs. Well, I can't possibly, if I just interacted with you, like, it's like someone talking about some nonsense microaggression. You're like, so let me get this straight. I've never met you before. You never met me before. And you're interpreting some minor comment that that I've made in the least charitable way possible. Yeah. I'm not saying that that you couldn't be annoyed, but your expectation for that level of consideration is you're going to be, you're going to be disappointed a lot. Now, if you, if we're someone that's in your life on a consistent basis and they're like, Hey, I really don't appreciate what you're saying or what you're doing here. Do you realize that? This is how I'm. This is how I'm perceiving. You go, oh man, I'm. I'm so sorry. I'm, I, of course, I would hear what you have to say, but I guess trying to recognize that, you know, my. I guess my job is to treat others with dignity in general, but that level, the level of specificity that 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 requires increases as it gets closer to you. Mm. And I have, a, yeah. as a person, I have a very finite amount of resources, financially, intellectually, emotionally, physically. If I chuck, you know, 0.001% of it in every single different direction, what am I doing? It's like when people are like, oh, I, I care deeply about Tibet. I'm like, why aren't you over there? Go build a house, man. Get on a plane, go build a house. Oh, you don't want to do that. So really what you want to do is post on Facebook and, and, and accept high fives for how much of a good guy you are. I got an idea. Go help somebody in your neighborhood. Go be go play with go play with some kids. Go be a friend to someone that doesn't have a friend. Read a book. Try to educate yourself. And so I guess to to come back, it's all of these problems aren't solvable on a grand scale. But it's almost like by attempting to address them in our personal lives, we do better. But rather than a giant airing of the grievances on a on a consistent basis, not that that isn't you know sometimes necessary and valuable, but at after you air your grievances, you go, hey, how about we we sort this out? What's the next step? Mm -hmm. And and I guess, again, when we're trying to address it on a giant social level, it just seems unmanageable to me, even if you have the best of intentions. Yeah. I mean, but nevertheless, there's the, there's a lot you can do on social networks. I mean, I, I enjoy uh, tweeting and uh, consuming Twitter. It's just, I, I apply the exact same principle that you just said, which is uh, <laughs> the free will and discussion, which is like, I approach it in a way that I don't get stuck in this loop that's counterproductive. I try to do things that are productive. And like it, it's just like you said, that's like, uh, like what kind of things can I do in this world? Whether well, that's tweeting or building things, those are low effort tweeting or actually building businesses or building ideas out as high effort. What can I do that will actually solve problems? And that's, that's the way I approach it. And 